What's up, affordable armory folks? How y'all doing? So, uh, this video today is going to be about dry fire practice. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you can see when future videos come out. So, without further ado, let's talk about it. Uh, when I do dry fire practice at the house, I like to use my CERT pistol. And uh, this is a laser pistol. You can see. Boom. Laser. So, um, this is good for... Uh, practicing um, in the house and uh, you know it's not gonna go bang so but it's pretty cool because it's got removable magazines uh, and it's actually shaped like a Glock 19 or Glock 17 actually um, they make a Smith & Wesson M&P model and they just came out with a six hour P320 model as well so pretty cool that you can dry fire practice with a laser fired gun that's uh, similar to potentially the gun that you are already carrying. But I kind of thought, you know, what about my other guns? How do I practice with those? Um, you know, so I ordered this thing. This is a laser that fits into the chamber of your gun. And uh, when you press the trigger, it fires the laser. Pretty cool. Now, unlike the CERT pistol, this will not work uh, for multiple shots. Uh, because you'll have to reset your trigger each time, at least on a, a striker fired gun like a Glock, a uh, MMP, a uh, P320, etc. But there are some guns that it will work with multiple repetitions. For example, a double action, single action gun, my uh, Beretta or uh, Regard MC, that type of gun, a CZ75 if you have one of those. Um, you know, there's all sorts of guns that this would work in those and you would get repetitive shots. Um, another gun that I'm going to try it out in uh, is the Taurus G3 and as well as the G2C because those guns have restrike capability I'm curious to see if you could train with this and have it fire multiple shots without having to reset the trigger each time so without further ado let's head over to the workbench and I'll unbox it okay so here is the laser you can see it's made by G Sight. Uh, laser training cartridge again this is for a 9 millimeter they make them in other calibers so if you want one for 380 or 45 ACP or something they probably have one uh, it says stay sharp when you can't get to the range which right now probably none of us can get to the range so uh, training home with enhanced dry fire practice use our award-winning mobile app to get real-time audio and visual feedback so uh, in a future video, I plan to actually show you how that works, but for now, I'm just going to, you know, open it up, show you what you get in the box. Uh, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll put an Amazon uh, link down below. Um, if you use my affiliate link to shop on Amazon, it uh, gives me a little bit of money. So I would appreciate it if you use that link. And... Uh, yeah, you don't have to buy the G site with it. You can just click on that link and do whatever shopping you need on Amazon. So, looks like you get a little manual here, laser training cartridge instruction manual. Um, you got the cartridge and the three batteries. You get some spare O-rings. And uh, that's about it. Okay, so we're just going to twist it apart here. There you can see uh, it's got two different parts and uh, the little plastic cover piece just fell off so there are batteries already in the unit and then these three are spares. That's kind of nice that it comes with spare batteries so I'll have to save this box. Put it back together and it says to tap on the back to make sure it's working. There you go. You can see that it is, in fact, working. So, let's grab a gun and try it out. Alright, so you can see I've placed a number of pistols on the table here. I've got a double action, single action gun, the uh, Gerson Regard MC. I've got my Glock 45 MOS. Uh, I've got a Sig Sauer P320 Compact. And then I've also got the Taurus G3. Um, so, I've chosen each of those for specific reasons. This one, again, it's double action, single action. This one is striker fired. Uh, this one is also striker fired, but the trigger mechanism is a little bit different. So 
um, I'm going to see how that works because you may still be able to press the trigger after the first time you press the trigger uh, without having to reset it. I don't know that it's going to work, but um, again, we'll see. And then the Taurus, like I said, has restrike capability, even though it is a striker fired pistol. So uh, that'll be the one we do last. All right, so here we go. As you can see, all these pistols are unloaded. The magazines are removed. I'll show you the chamber is empty. And now we drop this down into the chamber. Okay. Well, it is working. Kind of hard to see, but there you go. You can see that it is working. And if I cock it, and I'll get my single action. Neato. So, there's that. But as you can see, it is ever so slightly out of battery uh, by putting that in there. I don't know if it's intentional, um, but yeah, it works. So now the fun part is uh, getting it out of there. You got to take something and put it down into the barrel. Um, so I'm going to go grab a pencil. All right. So you take your pencil, stick it eraser end down in there and Woo. That's in there tight. Okay, I was able to get it out of there, but in addition to the pencil, I had to use a mallet, and I just kind of tapped on it like that, and it eventually popped out. So just know that once this thing is in there, it's in there tight, and that's what these uh, O-rings are for, is to help seal it to the chamber. So let's move on, and we'll try it on the Glock. Again, empty chamber. There you go. There's a lighting on it so you can see it is in fact empty. There's no magazine in it. Drop it in there. Okay. Send the slide forward. And let's try it. And it worked. But like I said, with the Glock, you have to reset the trigger each time. That kind of sucks. Like, you're only going to be practicing one shot at a time if you do this on a Glock. But it's still useful. There's quite a few drills out there, one shot drills that uh, you can practice. And uh, there you go. Moving right along, let's try it again on the unloaded and clear Sig Sauer P320 Compact. So, I'll drop it down into the chamber. Okay, send the slide forward, and here we go. Yeah, see, so the uh, SIG trigger kind of wants to try and fire again, at least more so than on a Glock, uh, but it's still not going to do it. So you're going to have to reset it each time. And as you can see, it is working when you reset it each time. So. There's that. Last but not least, let's try it in the Taurus. And uh, there you can see uh, where the strikers are starting to make an indention on this. It's just a little piece of rubber, but that's what triggers the laser. Like I said, I can do it with my finger. Just press on it. So I don't know how long that'll hold up, but we'll see. Okay, so this should be cool. Hopefully, it'll work. Ready? Boom. Oh, yeah. See? Now I can do this all day. Advantage Taurus. Ha <laughs> ha. Cheap gun for the win. So, if you've got a Taurus or a double action gun like this Gerson Regard MC, maybe a Beretta 92 series, a CZ 75, something like that, um, yeah. 
you can uh, dry fire with this thing all day long and it's gonna keep on pointing that laser so pretty cool um, I don't have a 9mm 1911 so in case you were wondering why I didn't do a single action only gun that's why so there you have it that's the laser training cartridge in 9mm from G Sight. and uh, if you have questions about how to use this thing or whether you should get one leave them in the comments below or shoot me an email the link to that is below if you want to pick one of these up use my Amazon link below uh, or if you just need to do shopping on Amazon click that link and then go buy toilet paper or whatever it is you need I may do videos in the future showing how to use this if you guys if that's something you guys are interested in seeing let me know um, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Head over to affordable-armory.com. Pick up some merch like this here hat. Uh, that's where the blog lives. That's where all of our affiliate links are. And that's where all of our social media links are. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.